Citrus Heights police tell me that one person who died was a pedestrian and the other person was a driver. That's new information I got from police about an hour ago. We want to show you a live look at this scene here. You can see detectives are still out here focusing their investigation on a couple of different vehicles that are here. And we do know that those are pretty badly banged up. We want to show you video of the scene from earlier. The front end of what appears to be a black SUV is badly damaged. And then much of another vehicle, a red car, seems to be destroyed. Police tell me a pedestrian was in the middle lane of Auburn Boulevard when the driver of one of the cars was speeding. That driver hit the pedestrian and then swerved into oncoming traffic. That's when they hit a second car, which caused that car to go through a barrier of a nearby neighborhood. Police tell me the pedestrian and the driver that crashed into the barrier died, and the driver, who detectives say hit the pedestrian, was sent to the hospital with minor to moderate injuries. Again, back out here live, detectives are still here trying to piece all of this together, trying to get some more information about what exactly led up to this. Again, police tell me they do believe that speed played a factor in this crash. Other than that, again, they are still working to get any more details. While they continue their investigation here, police have blocked off this portion of Auburn Boulevard between Cobalt and San Tomas. So if you're in this area and driving around, you're asked to stay away from this specific street. For now, reporting live in Citrus Heights tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.